Greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, today is already first week in November, November 5, and we are already stepping into the holiday season and holiday mode. Hi, Kelly. How are you? Uh, thank you for being present. So today's Heal Talk Tuesday is going to be how donut can help you with losing weight or weight loss. Um, I'm sure everyone has had a donut in their life, right? So what does donut remind you of? To me, it's a circle with a hole in the middle, right? So donuts also remind me of small little lifesavers that we put inside our mouth and it's sweet it's delicious and it's colorful what else does a donut remind me of is lifesavers literally this tubes that when we are in the waters or at times when you are uh, in the boat and they throw in the lifesavers uh, it's for you to get in and swim back to shore or they pull you out right so when i was when i saw that today is national donut day i couldn't help but say donuts can help us lose weight here's why because in a way the what i do as a clinical hypnotherapist i i help my clients drop weight um and we'll, I'm gonna give you some nuggets about certain uh, words, associated uh, associations that can help you with weight loss. So today you're gonna receive some nuggets and you're gonna change your uh, perception or perspective about donuts. And instead of saying, no, I don't want it, you will enjoy having some donuts. Hi, Sarah John. hi, Ruby. So donuts, in a way, it tastes, it is so good. It is sugary. So when we think about donuts and weight loss, they, go, they, they seem as if it's a contradiction, right? When was the last time you had a donut? Mine was, as I said, months ago when I, I was at an event and they brought this box and there was so many different varieties of donuts. And it's like everyone has their own favorite donut. Some of them like the twist, some like it with the sprinkles on, with the coconut on it. The other one likes it colorful. Literally, we're standing over there and everyone is saying, oh, that's my favorite. That's my favorite. My favorite is just plain old glazed donut. And I remember many years ago, uh, I've been doing hypnotherapy and stress management, oh my God, for 21 years. So my other world of what I used to do in my career as a paralegal and assistant to attorney working the corporate world before that was banking, it was like Fridays or Thursdays, they brought those donuts and it was cookies once a month celebrating birthdays. Oh, I don't know if they still do that or not. Um, I think it's a contradiction. They still do it, but then they also offer gym and health and wellness. So it's a good thing. It's like have both worlds and everyone chooses what to eat. I think nowadays, um, they bring kind uh, and bars that are healthy bars uh, instead of donuts. So what other thing reminds us donuts? It's police officers being at 7-Eleven, having a donut, right? So do you see this? It's all association. I think eating is an association. When we grow up, how we grow up culturally, family, what is a food that it's a reward system? What foods are make us feel guilty? What foods that we grow up, it's like, oh, it's a comfort food. So in a corporate world, I think donuts used to be this 
coming together, a uh, happy hour instead of a happy hour, it was a donut hour, celebration, birthdays. So donut, in a way, is a comfort food, especially when the sweetness and everything, especially the little ones, you can pop a few of those in your mouth, and it just, it's dough, right? So with coffee, when we pour that coffee, which reminds me, I got to have some coffee. Mm. Coffee settles. Um, I grew up with coffee. Here's another comfort food or comfort drink. So why am I talking about all this? Because I believe in the work that I do when I have clients come to me for weight loss. It's working and peeling away the connection that they have to certain foods and how we hold on to certain foods and how we pack on certain uh, weight. Is it for comfort? Is it for safety? Is it for just cocooning in there? So one of the things I like to share as far as nuggets with my clients is as a part of our nine week program is number one, losing feels bad. I've talked about this. So we like to call it dropping or peeling it away. Or now that we have this donut, today is the donut day. You know that hole in between? I like to say, how about we carve out or cut out a portion of it in the middle and peel it away and eat only the outside. The same way as when we go shopping in a grocery store, they say, make sure that you shop outside instead of the inside. Why? Because the inside of a grocery store is usually all the dry products, all the canned products, all the box products, all the sweeteners, and well, it's in a way they call it not, not the healthy parts. Because the healthy food is always outside in the grocery store, which is your vegetables, your, yes, dairy product, your fruits, and then the bread and the juices all the way to the check stand. And then near the check stand, you get all the sugars and all the junk food, all the chocolates and everything else, plus the magazines. While you're standing there watching or browsing the magazines, you can't help it. There is all the chocolates, all the junk food, everything, and it's enticing because they're also colorful. Well, donut, the glazed donut was boring. So you ate one and everything and it satisfied. But now that it's all this colors and twists and all this thing on it, what did they do? Make it more enticing, right? So now, do you see this? Do you see all this way of how they make everything look delicious, look inviting to you? Hmm. So here's one of the nuggets that I also share with my clients. One was no more losing, but you peel it away, you drop it, or just carve out and let it go. Number two. When you're eating, uh, make sure that you're not eating or hoarding all the food. And it doesn't matter if it is just a donut or if it is on a plate, even if it is a sandwich or a cookie. The first bite or the last bite is not yours. Hmm, great concept. So when you take the donut, if it is the twist ones or anything else, take a bite and drop, let it go, and then eat the rest. So to me, when I'm eating one of the ones that has a hole in it, it's already taking the first bite out for me. 
right? So I can enjoy the rest of it. Knowing myself, the way I teach, the way I have conditioned myself, even when I'm having a donut with a hole in there, I leave the last bite down. So I eat the entire donut, and then the last bite is not mine. So by doing this, we're not hoarding whatever it is. We're sharing it. We're gifting it. We're giving it away, giving it, paying it forward. Hmm. That's so lovely of you that you can have some and then pay the rest forward. Here's another thing you can do. Here's message number three. When you're eating it, slow down your eating process. Chew slowly and savor what you have in your mouth. And as you are eating, if you close your eyes for just a moment, and as you swallow, you say thank you to the food. And you will realize that as you slow down in eating it, you satisfy that urgency. And the food is not urgent anymore. And we don't have to hoard it. We don't have to swallow it. We don't have to finish it. And by nourishing it, nourishing your body, nourishing and savoring the food, we say thank you. Thank you for the grace of God for having that food. Thank you for nourishing the body. And thank you for letting the last bite down. So in a way, we did three things. We say thank you. We don't have to finish it all. We pay it forward. And instead of losing, it becomes nurturing. Now, isn't that wonderful? If we just, if you use only just this three simple ways, you will realize how wonderful it becomes that you can enjoy food plus drop weight. So in a way, you save your own body, you save your life, and it becomes a life saver. So from now on, every time you see a donut, you go, ah, a life saver. <laughs> so hello, John. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Raoul. Uh, Hello, Elijah. Sivajan, how are you doing? Do you like this concept? I was wondering if we think about food as a nourishment. Um, hi, Lisa. Hello. Um, I was wondering if we think of food more nourishing as fuel, the same way as you fuel your car, you fuel your body. So that next time when we think about exercise, it's not so, oh my God, I have to go and exercise. I have to do this. I have to burn weight, burn all this in order for me to lose weight. Next time we realize oh, I can just move my body. So guess what? Today I'm sitting in my car and I got I'm parked in front of my office and my favorite song nowadays, my favorite song went on. Guess what's that? What it is? It is called Senorita by Shawn Mendes. Oh my God. I love the song. I'm sitting there and just moving my body. I'm dancing with it and everything. And I'm going, what a great song. I love music. So it's it's like moving my body and, and all that. And I'm smiling as someone is walking by and they see me doing this. And I'm going, great song. So I put my windows down and then guess what? She stops and another person stops and they're moving. I mean, it was just wonderful. Why? It's not the song. It's how I was dancing and enjoying the song with it. By me moving, enjoying my time, right? 
I made someone stop and enjoy the song with me. So we created this beautiful synergy together. This right now is synergy, togetherness. We are like a tribe coming together and we can do the same thing, not only for creating a synergy for a song, synergy for drop weight, but I just shared something the way I like to do it, the way I help my clients with my method, which is called the 3E method. It's, it's evoking what was, it's understanding what you were holding on to. If it was an emotional eating, if it was sadness, if it was trauma, if it is anything. As a clinical hypnotherapist, we literally dive in and just like the twist of donuts that are twisted, I twist away all the baggage, all the emotional things that you no longer need, right? And then we come to embrace exactly where you are, the reality, the fact of where you are right here, right now. Embracing who you are and realizing there is nothing more beautiful than you. You are God's child. You are exactly where you are because of your thought process, the words that have impacted you, that you have held on to, what, for whatever reason, I believe I have created the life that I am at because of my own belief systems, my own perceptions, my own direction, and whatever it is, right? I am exactly where I need to be. And the past, it doesn't really matter at this moment. It's gone. My past is just a memory. It's just, it is not happening at this very moment. As a matter of fact, whatever I said a minute ago, is already a part of the past. Now, do I want to hold on to that? A parts of it, because it's, it's information. It's something that I can use, you can use. I hope so, because that's why we are here. It's informative. It's not, I'm not here to inspire you, but motivate you to make a change, to make a difference in your life. As I have a coach that I texted right before I started and I texted and I said, this is what I am doing. Get on and watch it so you can give a positive uh, feedback. We all have someone that holds our hand, either in business, at home, at work. No one does anything on their own. And if anyone said, I did it myself, it is not true. No one does anything by themselves. Even when from the moment we are born, yes, we come through our mother, the mother pushes the baby, but there is someone to hold the baby and cut the cord. We all have someone that holds space for us. And that's how we come from evoking to embracing to evolving, right? That's how we evolve in life from our parents, caregivers, grandparents, school teachers, bosses. Everybody has someone that holds their hand, even coaches. So when we think about what we hold on to, I like to call it, what is the emotional thing that has impacted you? That today, just like a donut, we can carve starting from the core right here, which is all the emotions. We hold everything here. And if we start right here, that's how I work with IBS. 
when it's very tight, what are you holding on to that you can't let go? <laughs> this is incredible. This is, I am live right here. Can you hear my stomach growling? It's not because I am, uh, it's not because I am hungry, but even when I work with my clients, I say, because this is our core, this is where our gut feelings are, are or are, <laughs> this is where our gut feelings are. When you touch and when you become one with your core, you know what happens? You say yes to you. When you have cramps, when you have bloatiness, just massage your tummy. Close your eyes and become one with your core self, your true self. And your body will speak just like now. Because I truly believe our tummy, our core, our intuitive part of us knows more and knows best and then we come to sound judgment of what is right what is wrong and that in itself is a perception what is right what is wrong is also a perception that you have come to your belief system that you have learned and what is right for you may not be right for someone else. Hello, Mark. Thank you so much. You're doing awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you for uh, validating. Yes, in itself. Thank you for being here, being present. And when you think about it from now on, think about donut being your lifesaver, that you can have whatever it is that you want in your life. Even if you just imagine you close your eyes and whatever it is that no longer benefits you or no longer benefits your body for the image that you want to create, for the body shape that you want to be, today you can say, I'm ready to stand up for myself. So, you know, I have this nine week course that I help clients. Uh, I hold space for them. It's a nine week course to stand up, to slim down, standing up to slimming down, right? So it's the name of my course. It's the name of my book. My book just came. Uh, we got the publishers, uh, thumbs up it's we're going to print i'm going to have the books printed the ebook is already ready but the books will be here in about 10 days and i can't wait until i share it with you in december i'm going to be doing a book signing so i can't wait until i share that with you but here's the thing someone asked me why stand up to slim down because i truly believe in order for us to do anything to make a difference in our life we have to feel good about ourselves so in a way we stand up right <laughs> but we're standing up for our belief system for our choices for our promises that we make to ourselves so in a way i want you to break through or break through that donut hole, break through what was, break through barriers instead of breaking your promises so that you can stand up for yourself, feel good about yourself, and then slim down. Slimming, it doesn't matter how thin you want to become as long as you feel good about yourself, not according to the scale not according by what other people judge or 
they say is the right weight. With that, I'm going to gift you something today. I don't know why, but I want to gift you something. Hello, Adrian. Hi, Ray. I hope you are feeling better. And Adrian, I hope you're having an incredible time uh, on your vacation. And I look forward to seeing you soon. So today, I'm going to give you a word. I want you to, within the next minute, once I go live, text me the word STAND. And if you text that word to 818-221-2797, I will give you a gift automatically. That word, STAND, just text STAND to 818-221-2797. And you will receive a link and you, I want you to click on that link and receive a beautiful gift, a recording for you to utilize it in your own convenience so that it will help you drop weight, carve out what you no longer need, and so that you can move forward in slimming down. How do you like that? And yay, go ahead and do that. And I look forward to gifting. That's my pay forward today. So with that, wow, this is what happens. The half an hour is almost up and we've been together for half an hour and uh, holidays are coming. Next time you see a donut in the corporate uh, settings or wherever you go, smile. You look at the corporate when you see the twist twist away when you see the donut with the hole remember with each bite the last one is not yours and today you can drop the weight or carve the weight out and no more losing you're going to stand up and slim down and save your own life because having that extra weight that you no longer need is weighing you down, weighing you down from so much. And you are much more valuable and worthy than having difficulties in living the life that you truly are destined to. It's about time you live your life fully and completely. So let us close with I am ready to evoke what was, embrace what is, and evolve to what will be, what I want, because I matter. I hope today's session was beneficial to you. Hello, Mary Lou. How are you, love? I hope uh, you, you caught on at the last moment, but please, if you watch the replay, just hashtag replay. If you have any comments and questions, I respond to everything. And for those of you who were here present, thank you, thank you, thank you. Next week, we have Christina Sosa as my guest, and we have this beautiful setting, and I look forward to being with you. Until next week, God bless you, and may the universal light be with you. Goodbye.